mother lost her life saving her daughter from an oncoming train. Tonight, a first look at the toddler that was saved. CBS 2's Rita Garcia spoke with the girl's father. Daddy. Her name is Paris Bell. Bell is French for beautiful. She's only two, but it won't be long before her dad says he'll have to fill in the blanks for his baby, who knows something happened to her mom. The train, the train heard me, mommy pushed me, so that's all she could communicate, but I knew at that point that she was aware of something. It was supposed to be a stroll to the corner store at Marion, Indiana in Riverside. Police say Susan Devini was crossing the railroad tracks pushing Paris in her pink stroller when the wheels got stuck on the tracks. At the same time, a Metro League train was passing through. Those last moments of her life, you know, I just think, you know, not only did she live for her daughter, but ultimately she died for her daughter. Paul and his wife were separated for more than a year, but he vowed to wear his wedding band until a divorce was finalized. And now, I guess I'll be taking it off. It's at moments like this or when things like this happen, you know. You CBS 2 News. Serene, thank you. Now, former L.A. Police Chief Bill Bratton has been asked by the UC system to investigate the pepper spraying of students protesting at UC Davis. Tonight, we're learning more about the police officer involved. He's Lieutenant John Pike, a retired Marine. Pike was honored once by the university for tackling a hospital patient with scissors who was threatening officers. At that time, he says he chose not to use pepper spray because it might hurt his colleagues. An alleged anti-gay slur by Pike was part of a lawsuit against the department by a former police officer who was awarded $240,000 in a settlement. What started as a brawl at a Redland bar turned into murder when one of the men pulled out a gun tonight. The victim's mother made an emotional plea for help to find her son's killer. TVS 2's Jeff Gabriel has seen the video from the deadly encounter. The people who shot him and killed him did not deserve to be with their family or to be celebrating what they did. The mother of 22-year-old Cruz Quaya makes an emotional plea for help in finding her son's killer following the release of this video. In slow motion, you can see the man police say unloaded several rounds outside of Redlands Bar early Saturday morning. Cheap shot. This is the shot. of that suspect wearing a dark baseball cap with a white logo Coward. on the front. You want to fight? Young. Fight. You want to fight with the police gun. Police say the trouble began inside Charlie Jewell's bar when two group of men got into a fight. Security pushed all of them outside and police were called. A city surveillance camera captured the men as the confrontation spilled outside. Here, you can see Quiet punching one man. A brawl broke out, and then bullets flew. We're confident that there are people out in the public who can identify these suspects. Investigators are releasing video of the shooting suspects, along with still shots of five men who are persons of interest in the case. There is this man in a puffy gray jacket and dark pants, a second man with a checkered black and gray jacket, a third with a red ball cap, the fourth has clean-cut hair, and the fifth is shorter than the rest. We're not going to be able to find them. Please come forward. Any information Everybody looks like we that. We checked with the bar to figure out what happened on Saturday and whether security checked patrons for weapons, but management said it had no comment. In Redlands, Jeff Nguyen, CBS TV. Here's a retarded lady, right? And um, and um, can you say retarded and um, retarded and um, retarded? Books, movies, music, squeegee board, <laughs> house of candles, dolls, other gods, books, movies, music, squeegee board. <laughs> Are you serious? Listen how retarded Oprah is. About yourself. And the whole purpose of your life is to recognize the purpose of your life and then follow each footstep that leads you directly in the path of that purpose. And the whole purpose of your life is 
to recognize the purpose of your life and then follow each footstep that leads you directly in the path of that purpose. We're going to tell you the truth about yourself. And the whole purpose of your life is to recognize so actually the purpose I had to look down life. at her notes. And then follow each footstep that leads you directly in the path of that purpose. And it's never too late to figure that out. It is never too late to start to live. And this is life. Oprah's life class? This is gay. This is stupid. People are listening to her like she's God. The purpose, purpose, purpose. Hello. There's a bunch of books on the purpose driven life. Hello. Oprah's stupid.